What's up guys? Yes, you read the title right. I actually decided to buy a 50 year old badminton wooden racket to try out. I saw this on eBay and they said the racket was from around the 1970s. So I really wanted to try how a racket from this period would stack up against rackets that we have nowadays today. Just a quick reminder to please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you. Just look at this racket. The first thing I noticed was how heavy it felt. Of course it's mostly made of wood with a metal shaft, and this means that it's actually really stiff. I really wanted to weigh this thing, so I got some scales out and see how much it weighed. First my 4U Yonex Astrox 88S Pro that I currently play with. This was 93 grams with a grip on. Next the 50 year old wooden racket, and this weighed for 143 grams which is mad. It also had no grip on too, because this came off as we were trying out. A grip that has probably been on there since the 1970s, but came off in about 30 minutes of us playing with it. Another thing I noticed was look at these strings. They are thicker than normal strings and also the tension is incredibly low. I mean look how much they bend when I put pressure on them. The sound of when you, when you hit the shuttlecock also sounds so bad. I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't surprise me if these were the factory strings that the racket came with in the 1970s and have never been broke. But honestly, I think the strings were the biggest factor in how this racket played. Something I didn't notice straight away, but it's a massive change to rackets now, is look at how short it is. The racket is considerably shorter than my 88S Pro racket, which is 5mm shorter than a lot of rackets anyway. Obviously, this is going to make it harder to play with too. Using the racket was very strange, especially when you first tried it. I also gave the racket to a few friends to try and all of us started mistiming it, hitting the net and having no accuracy. But after a while, it was something that you could actually get used to playing. Granted, it was still really poor. But for something this old and the string tension that it has, it actually played better than I thought. <laughs> because the racket was so much heavier and the string tension that it had, it meant that there was no repulsion power from the strings. Usually you get power from a shot by using short racket movements and using that finger power by squeezing the racket. But with this racket it was just so slow and the lack of repulsion power meant that getting the shuttlecock to the back was so hard. You really had to put a full swing into it. I really didn't notice the shorter racket length actually once you were playing with it as much as I thought I would. Like here you can see me, I'm actually not playing too bad with it. I'm playing some alright shots. The sound of hitting the shuttlecock was horrible though. I mean listen to this compared to a normal racket and the strings. Yeah. Although the racket actually wasn't that bad and was definitely playable, I think on a casual club night it actually could be used alright. But compared to rackets nowadays, it's not even close. It was definitely really fun to play with though, and when you first try it, it's such a shock. I wonder in 50 years from now if badminton rackets will come on much further than they are now, or if there will just be minor differences. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have ever used an old badminton racket, please let me know how you got on in the comments. Thank you for watching.